Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2. Last episode, we finished our contract with Edelbrock and uh, so, so, uh, as a result, we uh, completed stage 2 of this game. So now we are in, as one might guess, stage 3. So what do we got here? We got new inventory in the car lot. So we'll go ch take a look at that. There's definitely something very important I want to mention. Uh, before we get started into any racing this episode, so yeah, they got all right. So it looks like Jack Jackson Heights are open. So hey, man, the word has just come down from that the Jack Jackson Heights area is finally open. Head up that way. The racing up in the hills is off the hook. Alrighty. Nice job. The win completes your obligation to the sponsor. You're back to being a free agent. Maintain your performance so we can reel in another big fish. Ten four on that. All right, and of course. Finally, we have the turbo upgrade, our first one, so we'll go take a look at that as well. Hey, the heights are finally good to go. Head over there and check it out. Seems the road is all clear. Now, what I want to mention is... Let's go to the garage. Ronnie's waiting for us. Take a look at those, but not before I say this. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, when we got our uh, um, contract, we could, you know, it opened up a second slot in a garage for another vehicle, which we filled with the Lincoln Navigator, which turned out to be quick quite a good investment for us as far as the drift races went for it as well as you can see there are other other slots when you got three four and slot five you know a maximum of five cars in this game going into these outruns in this we're going to be introduced to something uh, new well not really but it's still it's you know how we got the unique uh, visual upgrade the unique hood last chapter uh, that's kind of like what this is, but it's a unique performance upgrade. And this performance upgrade can only be put on one vehicle. Now, if there is any cars that you want to be able to say is yours and you want to be able to put get the maximum performance out of, in other words, put all of the be able to put all of the performance upgrades on it that you can, including all of the perform the unique performance upgrades, you might want to hold off on doing the outruns. I already have an idea of what I want my garage to look like, so I'm probably not going to hold out because I would like to eventually, uh, you know, put it all in the Corolla here. But if you do not want to do something like that, if you want to choose a different car, I have a list of cars here that we will be... It's a it's a spoiler for the chapter. However, it, I felt it was important enough to mention it uh, just to, so that you guys can make the... You guys and gals can make the, uh, the most uh, educated decision on... Uh, how you want to go out, go about the outruns. So you can still do two of the outruns. The third outrun is when the unique performance upgrade happens. Now, right now, okay, let's uh, get out of here and let's go pay a, pay a visit to the car lot, and then I'll go into the uh, you know, what all you will have access to this chapter. In which you will you will be able to if you as long as you hold off on the performance the unit the outruns until you get the vehicle you you want you should be able to max it out with all the performance upgrades and the unique upgrades as well. So What did we unlock? 
So right now we have access to the Peugeot 206 as we did from the beginning, same with the Ford Focus we've had from the beginning, the Corolla which we have, the 240SX which we have, the Auto which has been, has been available since the beginning, the Civic that's been available since the beginning, and also we've got the H2, the Navigator, the Escalade, the Tiburon. This I believe is one of the vehicles we unlocked, yeah, let's see, yeah okay so I think we, yeah we unlocked the Celica I think with the second uh, the second URL race, and then the Nissan Sentra we unlocked doing the third URL race, the final URL race, race of last chapter, I believe. So I think, if not, it's one or the other that happens. So yeah, so yeah, right now we have access to the Peugeot 206, the Ford Focus, Toyota Corolla, Nissan 240SX, Mazda Miata, the MX-5, Honda Civic, Hummer H2, Lincoln Navigator, Cadillac Escalade. Hyundai Tiburon GT V6, Nissan Sentra SER, Spec V, the Toyota Celica, and these five vehicles are what will be unlocked throughout this chap this stage uh, before going into the next one kind of thing uh, by uh, you know going through the URL races up until the last until the last one. So in other words, not doing the last one which would obviously send us into the uh, into the uh, next stage. I'm fairly certain, unless you actually, uh, unless you actually hold off on all the races. But <laughs> so, assuming that you do not hold off on the, all the races and you basically just go about all the races or whatever, and then you just hold off on the outruns, you will be able to unlock an, a Lexus IS300, an Acura RSX Type S, a Toyota Supra, Volkswagen Golf GTI, and an Audi A3. Those five vehicles we have not unlocked yet, but they are available for us at some uh, later on in this chapter in other words if you want to hold off on the outruns and any one of those vehicles are the ones that you would like to have as your your bread and butter as far as the performance upgrade goes you might want to hold off on the outruns until we unlock them so just wanted to make that make that sure make make that clear to you and yeah so whatever you those five vehicles plus what we have available right now are what we've got to work on uh i suppose i, eh, I probably could have mentioned the other two uh Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, the other the other two vehicles we will be unlocking at some point, but I probably won't get them until next stage because, well, I don't intend on doing the the final URL race until we're ready to move on. I believe is the uh, the the Eclipse and uh, the Audi TT. So yeah, the Mitsubishi Eclipse and the Audi TT. Both of them, I believe, are four-wheel drive, and I believe the A3 is four-wheel drive, the, Vol the Golf is front-wheel, Supra is rear-wheel, the RSX is front-wheel, and Lexus is rear-wheel, so, yeah. Anyways, with that out of the way, we could go after some outruns, but let's go to the performance shop first. Actually, you know what, we can go to the other one. Because, as previously mentioned, since the turbos are straight up a one item purchase, doesn't matter where you go, the price is always going to be the same. No discounts at all. So, uh, let's go this way. Oh, okay. They just turn into a dead weight as soon as you hit them, it's weird. <laughs> Even, they even have the the, uh, the inertia to stop SUVs from moving. <laughs> uh, you're just trying to push against them, kind of like that. Good old video game physics. Alright. I think I may want to take a look at my, uh... Yo, stock is for suckers. To rule the streets, got everything hey, swap out installed, upgrade to brains installed, and installed, tighten your okay. gearbox and shorten your throat. Suspension installed, that's installed, that's installed, that's installed, now, installed, break installed, the and now... $1,000 for a stage 1 turbo kit, giving us an extra 50, 58 horsepower and 31 foot-pounds. Let's install it. Alright, we got Gretti, Turbonetics, Jackson Racing, HKS, Apex... Well, Gretti is a sponsor you can get in this game, so let's go with them. And now let's go take a look at performance. Let's see if I need to if do you want anything. To the most speed out of your uh, ride, yeah. then you're going to need to spend some time here. Hit the dyno 208.8 big horsepower. Power. 
Yo, it's like That's this. Fine. Suspension can your ride right, is fine. Yo, listen here. You're electric turn in the right place now, bro. Turbo slam more air hmm. into your engine. More air equals more power. So get crazy and adjust the power at each RPM. I told you, this is getting big, yo. Let's just do this. There we go. Oops. Alright. Let's make sure that's all down. I may want to do a bit more with this, like maybe drop this down to zero and then maybe boost up these a bit more, but uh, I did a little bit of testing, but I forgot what my results were, so I may have to do that uh, between this episode and next, so yeah. Empty. All right, nitrous and nitrous oxide. is fine. We're right. going B-I-G big. This year bottled up Drag. nitrous gas gives your ride a temporary boost of power. Yeah, so it looks like we have to do a little bit as far as the ECU goes, so. Tune it up, bro. That's, uh, or not the ECU, the turbo, so yeah, I'll take care of the rest of these and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, all done. Ran in a couple of uh, interesting hiccups where I dropped these down, and then for some reason this one would go down a bit more, so I just reset to default again and tried again, and it seemed to fix it. So, anyways, all right, just finished up the uh, the uh, underground racing league setup there. So, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's save. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save it after at the end of the episode. Alrighty, now we could. Go after some outruns, but we still have some unfinished business from stage two. Ah, yes. Here it's spool up. And the blow off valve. <laughs> So glad the uh, actual the racers have uh, significantly different model vehicles in the uh, <laughs> the NPC or the uh, yes, NPCs it's the uh, regular ones. All right, so stage three is where we officially get a good look at what we have not completed in stage two. Even though it was marked at 141.18 percent completion, we are still not done with stage two. We've still got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight races that we have not completed in stage two. So, well, I guess we better get started on them. Let's start at the, with the street cross, and uh, we'll go through them one at a time. Now, these ones, remember, these ones we do not get paid for. Um, there is a way you can, which I confirmed, and it's actually quite a big payout too. Uh, and you do get reputation points as well, but I, I'd probably consider it an exploit because it, one, I'd consider it an exploit, or two, if it's a bug in the program where we're supposed to get paid for it, I prepared the LP without this extra money, so I'm going to continue going through. I'm going to continue going through the LP without this extra money. But I will, just in case it is just a bug, I will mention how you can do it. Now, once the, when, when the race starts, you can actually pause it. Okay, you can pause it, and you hit restart. And if you choose to restart, you will actually be able to... It'll restart the race, but it'll allow you... It'll actually pay you if you win the race kind of thing. And in this case, uh, it's about a thousand bucks. It, no, it's lit, it was literally a thousand dollars when I did it so off screen. So, yeah. Um... If you want to do it, by all means, go ahead. Like I said, I prepared for the LP without it, so I'm going to continue on that road. But anyways, so let's uh, resume. Let's try to catch up. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I uh, was slow off the line there, and just literally avoided that. Hey, there's the Lexus. Oh, wait. Oh. In case you're wondering how our money situation is going to be like th throughout the game, you won't need to worry about it. Um, the way I've got my visual upgrade schedule set up, 
I don't think I'll be, need to spend any more than $25,000 on my car in total. It sounded like a lot, but when you compare it to how much money you actually get throughout the game, uh, through just regular revenue, without, you know, obviously without the, exp the uh, exploit or bug or whatever, without the money from the, uh, the hidden races here, uh, we get almost, without not include it, including uh, magazine revenue, this is include, uh, including, but it does include the DVDs uh, with the, uh, the uh, star ratings that I have uh, set up. Uh, you get almost four hundred thousand dollars. So, <laughs> yeah. As long as you keep winning, money should not be too much of an issue in this unit. You rarely want to start, uh, you know, upgrading all of your vehicles to the maximum kind of thing. Then it might get expensive, and then you might want to consider using the uh, the uh, the trick to uh, get paid from these races. But all right, there we go. And yeah, as you can see, we did not get paid, did not get reputation points. I don't think the reputation points apply to stage two either, and I fairly certainly don't apply to this stage this stage either. So yeah. Anyways, let's go see what else we've got. We're coming up on 20 minutes, but we might have time for one more race. Alright, so we got that. What do we got? Oh, whoops, I'm on stage one there. Alright, that's complete. What do we got next? That's a, ooh, that's a long circuit. Another long circuit. Eh, shorter. Yeah, there's a drift, so we could uh, haul out the uh, the navigator again and do a few of those. There's a sprint. And I think that's it. Yeah, let's haul out the navigator. This may be the last time we use the, the navigator for drifting, but unless one of the uh, SUV races turns out to be one, but uh, yeah, let's. Uh, We'll find it again. Don't have the turbo on this thing. Uh, do I want to go get it? Eh, we should be fine. We don't really need top speed. Alright, do we want the long one or the short one? Let's go with the short one because we are coming up on the uh, 20 minute mark, so let's do this. As you lose your uh, the uh, the drift points for that thing, it's it is very stingy about how much it lets you touch the wall before it takes it away from you. So, uh, hey, you got it. <laughs> All right, Ooh, that was actually a bit closer than I was expecting, but yeah, there we go. All right, so I guess that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll go into the uh, well, hopefully be able to knock out the rest of these uh, hidden races here. Maybe we'll get into some more outruns for chapter three for stage three this is intrepid 3 signing off thank you for watching and if you're enjoying the series enjoyed the video please uh leave a like on the uh the video uh you know comment your thoughts in the, the comment section if you uh, have a if you'd like to to voice your enjoyment of the series uh if you haven't subscribed already you know, by all means please do so and if you want to be receive notifications from youtube about when i upload next uh, by all means, hit the uh, hit that bell icon right next to it, so that YouTube then can and notify you. So yeah. In any case, this is Intrepid 3 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Be blessed, and have a good one. <laughs>